Okay, welcome everybody. John Berquist here, co-founder of Binary Office. I have Chad Epperson on the line with me from Filebound. Chad, you there? Yes, thanks John, appreciate it. You bet, thanks for joining. So today we're going to take you through part two of our two-part series in how to slash auto dealer back office costs. In the first part, we covered invoice processing. In the second part, which we're covering today, we're going to talk about eliminating paper deal jackets. And this works regardless of your DMS system. We're not trying to replace your DMS system, but we are suggesting that the DMS system is not the best place to scan and store deal jackets and deal paper documents for a number of reasons, and we'll get into that. So without further ado, what we're really going to show you today is how to take you from your current situation today where you have paper deal jackets and all the issues that go along with those paper deal jackets stored at each store, stored at, at your home office, maybe even off-site. So I, I hope you don't have paper documents stored off-site that, that you're struggling with, but if so, never fear, we'll, we'll show you how to get rid of that as well. So we're going to show you basically how to get all of those paper documents you're struggling with today and into a digital format into your computer system, no matter what DMS system you're using. And But wait, there's more. Not only are we going to show you how to get rid of the paper filing, but also we're going to turn the paper routing and approval process for your deal jackets into an electronic process. And we actually, we find this area, uh, Chad, I think you find the same thing in, in your business that this area actually reaps more benefits for customers than just the scanning and storing. Absolutely. Yep. So we'll cover that for you as well today. So our, our, our agenda in summary, again, is to show you a live demonstration of deal jackets being scanned, how that scanning software will allow you to get rid of the paper deal jackets, and how this works together with any dealer management system. And then we'll come back after the demonstration that uh, Chad will run through for us. We'll summarize how that solves the most common deal jacket problems and what you can do next about it. So the secret to starting this whole process off, just a tip you might, if you're taking notes, is you've got to scan the paper immediately at the beginning of the deal, not at the end of the deal process, just for archival purposes. And a usage tip there is look, look for the, the least expensive way to do that. Anybody can, can handle the scanning process. It's a very simple process that anybody can do, and we'll have Chad show that to you. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to Chad Epperson with Filebound Software. Chad? Okay, thanks, John. Thank you, presenter. Um, yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, appreciate it, John. Um, again, as John had mentioned, we're going to simulate, um, you know, taking a deal packet, being able to either import that or, or use some type of a scanner uh, to bring those documents into the system. So in order to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and import these documents. And these are actually uh, a deal packet that we've actually used uh, from uh, another demonstration of another client that we were working with. But this is going to do two, uh, two different things. Uh, as you scan these documents into the system, it's going to perform what we call an OCR. So it's going to extract all the information off of these documents for two purposes. One, to be able to index these this file so you can later uh, search and retrieve off of uh, off the documents and to name each document within that particular file or that set of, of documents um, so you can see here on the bottom left hand side what we're wanting to extract off of these documents is the customer name customer address VIN number agreement number and customer phone as well as each within this 11-page packet, 
or different document types, and we're going to go ahead and name those for you as well. So you can see here the system's automatically starting to, to name these documents as it goes through the process. What it's also now doing is uh, extracting all that information off of the documents for the indexing purpose. So again, simple, either importing those documents in from you know, a folder location out on your network or simply putting those into a, a desktop scanner and being able to scan those into the system. So simple and easy. So as those documents then get put into the filebound system uh, for uh, kind of in a repository, Again, we make it easy for users to be able to search and retrieve off of that content. Again, because we were able to extract all that information off the document. So I'm logged into Filebound here, and where you see projects, think of projects as really electronic file cabinets. So in this case, again, we're dealing with all these deal jackets. Um, but again, you may have uh, another project for, um, you know, maybe HR records, for example, or your invoices and then have security on who has access to each one of those file cabinets. But in this case, I could do a search across you know, customer name, customer address, VIN number, one or multiple index fields. In this case, I'm just going to uh, do a blank search, and it's going to bring me back a result set. So in this case, you can see here I've got uh, you know, six or seven different files. In this case, I want to take a look at, uh, at Ben Day's uh, file here. So again, this then allows me to, to view the documents related to Ben Day's uh, file or, or his deal packet, if you will. So you can see here, here's the buyer's guide, conditional delivery agreement, credit scored, um, you know, uh, protection plus. Now, from a security standpoint, if we wanted to restrict certain users from seeing any of these documents, we can put security around at the document level as well. What you've also see then is that the system automatically routed these documents to this particular user. So in this case, again, you did all your scanning, you did all of your indexing, it routed to this particular user, asking them to uh, you know, do different tasks. So in this case, they can either approve this deal jacket and route it to their general manager. Maybe they need to reject this and it automatically would route back to the sales uh, person who completed the sale of the, of the car or truck, or maybe we need to reroute this to another user for some additional information. Now all of those buttons obviously are com completely customizable and can be named however you want. Now from a user perspective, when they get documents, or in this case a deal jacket routed to them, there's different ways that they would get notified. One is through an email. So this user would have got an email notification saying, hey, a new deal is waiting for your approval. Another way of notifying that uh, they've got a deal to work is through, um, is through this workspace. And think of this workspace as really an inbox of all of your uh, assignments. So in this case, you can see I've got uh, a list of all my deal jackets waiting for my approval. I can see a thumbnail view of these packets, uh, as well as then uh, we have the ability to constantly audit or monitor those files for any missing documents. So if we know that, hey, within each deal we need the bill of sale, we need the uh, you know repayment options document, we can constantly audit and monitor those files for any missing content. Um, so this missing documents uh, feature allows us to do that. So again, that's what a, a, a normal user would see from their perspective. Now, as John mentioned too, then we can work with any DMS system. So uh, what I'm going to bring up here is just a sample uh, of a Reynolds and Reynolds screen that we're then able to uh, highlight a piece of information off of the screen and simply press a hotkey that then goes out to Filebound and retrieves the file that uh, we're looking for. So in this case, it's an RO number. I think I have it linked back to a sales order number, but all I could have to do is press a hotkey function. It then will go out. And I'm going to pull this. I've got it over on another screen. But I'm going to go ahead and pull that. It pulls that information in and it automatically retrieves the documents uh, based on the RO number or the agreement number in this case. And that was just so a again, key being, stroke that you hit that was while just you a were... Key stroke. Right. So guys, th this, this is 
one of the one of the most sought after features and and what many of my customers here at binary office love it because many accounting folks and and sales and finance as a deal is going back and forth for approval uh, or even after the fact most most folks are many times in their DMS screens or they have a favorite DMS screen that they're in all day constantly and it's a a, a wonderful usage easy way to use the system because you're right in the your familiar screen in this case Reynolds and Reynolds but it could just as easily be a dealer track or or what have you where we have the ability with our software to automatically tie the systems together uh, and allow the that quick and easy search right from your favorite DMS screen so that's that's a, definitely a favorite feature Uh, John, did you want me to make you presenter again? Uh, not un unless you want to run through uh, anything else on uh, routing. I think we okay. We kind of we covered the buttons at the bottom for for the routing. Did you want to cover uh, a second step in the process, or was your routing complete? Yeah. So yeah. Obviously, based on again, I'm going to go back into uh, you know my assignments again. So this was routed to me, and I won't log in and log out as different users, but at least wanted to give you again a quick snapshot of what a user would see. So in this case, this deal jacket was uh, routed to me. Um, again, I can do all my uh, you know looking at this, make QAing it, making sure it's all has all the right documents in it, and again down here on the bottom then. You know, obviously, based on whatever button I would select, it would go to uh, the next user within uh, within the workflow process. Now, what's nice is that we track all of this. So, from an auditing purpose, if you need to see, uh, you know, when it was routed to a particular user, when they approved or rejected it, uh, all of that's being tracked within the database, and we can start to uh, you know build reports around it. Uh, and these reports can really be in a dashboard form. So, again, you may want to see how long it's taking for, uh, you know, a particular deal packet to get approved and reviewed and through the process. It can identify, you know, uh, uh, who's taking the longest to approve them. So we can try to identify any bottlenecks that may be occurring within the workflow. Um, so again, these dashboard or analytics. Um, it's very important to organizations that are trying to, you know, to get documents approved through the organization quickly. And again, uh, we can kind of get deeper into that uh, by contacting John, and we can set up another demonstration for that. Absolutely, the 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 customizable dashboard is key because um, somebody in finance or sales might have uh, want to see a different layout as compared to the the CFO or a general manager. Absolutely, and uh, the uh, the other thing that uh, we wanted to do is is kind of review what pro what are the most common problems that uh, that we're told by our dealership customers that that they want a, a deal jacket scanning system to solve and. Uh, Chad showed how the our system solves most of these actually uh, in uh, in a very simple manner the back and forth approval process being slow is the number one issue that uh, we actually were interviewing a, a customer a fairly large dealership with 35 stores and this was the 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 number one issue that that they wanted solved and that was the back and forth approval process was just too slow, and we were able to speed that up with uh, with the software and digitizing the deal jackets. The second issue, most importantly, that they wanted solved was how do I prevent missing documents and other errors from happening? And we saw that in in the demonstration that Chad showed how the deal jacket, our software has some special templates that we use to automatically identify what your required documents are for processing a deal and once we've done that by scanning them now we can hold the deal until all the uh, required documents 
are, uh, I guess, uh, show up in the system. And until they, they do, the deal doesn't get processed or doesn't, at least doesn't go in, in our customer's case, they didn't want the deal to uh, move on to the accounting department until all required documents are present and accounted for. And this third point relates back to number two. Uh, in, in our customer's case, this particular uh, interview we were doing, the third issue that they struggled with was they had a total list of 30 documents that were required for archiving the deal when the deal was done. But processing only required a smaller subset of those. Uh, 10 of the 30 were required for actually processing the deal. So in, again, Chad, in that case, I guess we, uh, to review, we really didn't show it, but the way we would accomplish that would, would be we have a, a required documents checklist, so to speak, of the, the 10 required during the workflow process, right? Correct. Yeah, we can even build, you know, as John said, the, the ability to uh, have a checklist. So if somebody, uh, you know, tries to hit approve and, and send that packet along, uh, there could be a pop-up that says, hey, do I have, you know, these 10 documents in the system? Uh, if yes, you have to click all of it, and then that would allow you to advance it. If not, um, you know, it wouldn't allow them to advance it. So yeah, that, that ability to do pop-ups, checklist, that type of thing is all doable within the file-bound workflow module. Right. Number four issue that our customer told us that we solved was they struggled with, they, they really needed a single storage spot for all of their deal documents, both during and after the deal. During the deal so that people can have a, a faster way to approve a deal and get it done, and after the deal for archiving and compliance reasons, uh, we know that all manufacturers have different requirements for length of storage. Now all those issues go away because we've got one electronic storage file cabinet, if you will. And again, I'll touch on that. We feel that it's best not to store these images in your DMS system because if you ever want to change uh, DMS systems, you, you really don't want to have all your deal, all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. Uh, so we recommend rather store these files in a system that's made to do this and then just link that those records back to your favorite DMS screens like Chad showed you with the, the Reynolds and Reynolds uh, 3010 screen. Number five top reason that uh, problem that this large customer told us they wanted to go away was uh, they really were looking for a way to centralize their accounting process. And we, we basically showed you doing that in, in the electronic approval process. All, all of those rules that can now get enforced, you know, if this, then go to this spot or go to from sales go to the finance manager first to make sure all the required documents are there and then go to accounting. All, all of those processes can now be centralized uh, because the, the deal jackets have been scanned and are electronic. Well, you might say, John, my dealership's process is different than anybody else's, and we, we know that. So the way we handle that is the routing process Part of my job is to help the dealership set that routing process and those rules uh, up according to their whatever their paper process is. So we have uh, the ability to mimic whatever your paper process is and even change it and make it, uh, uh, Im improvements, if you will. A lot of times we find that the paper process is the way it is because you're limited Due to the paper and those sometimes those issues actually go away and we can improve your dealerships process and speed up the the deal process number seven was deal jackets have a lot of different document types in them they've got a lot of different things and Chad showed you how our software through the use of these special templates we can set it up to automatically recognize your different types of documents that are in there and therefore we can say, hey, this deal doesn't get to move along because all the required documents aren't there. Great feature. 
And last, we want this to work with any DMS, and we showed you the Reynolds screen. We don't care what the screen is. We can connect these scanned images to any DMS screen. So again, this goes back uh, a little bit to the fact that we recommend you scan and store and do, do this automation in a system that's specifically made to do this, like ours, and then just link those stored images to your favorite screens. So that's it, it in a nutshell. Things you can do next would be to go to my, my uh, website, binaryoffice.com, and if you go there, you'll see in the upper bar there, Industry Solutions, Automotive Dealership Software right there. Click on that, and that'll take you to uh, a free recording of uh, part one of this two-part series, which dealt with specifically issues and how we solve the invoice problems in the accounts payable area, which is a, a whole nother different type of problem, but uh, usually of interest to dealerships that are trying to go paperless. So that's there for you. There's no charge for that. It's a recorded session that was done earlier. Uh, if you're ready, click this button here to request a demo and we'll show you our software actually scanning uh, your files if you want to provide some samples of your invoices or your deal jackets. We're happy to, to do a demonstration for you specifically uh, with your documents, which sometimes helps. So uh, that's it. Chad, unless you ha have anything else for the listeners, we will sign off. Chad? Nope. Appreciate appreciate everybody's time. Thank you. Thanks, Chad. And this is John Berquist, co-founder here at Binary Office. Feel free to call me direct there. My number, 480-320-1061. Thanks for joining, and we'll talk to you soon.